Hello good folks on YouTube! In between of watching all the violent films I usually watch, I like to throw in a silly comedy to level things out. That's what I did today with the 1992 movie Miracle Beach, and here are my thoughts on it. In Miracle Beach we meet Scotty, played by Dean Cameron. I know him very well as he also played a similar role in Ski School 1 and 2, and I rewatched the first one countless of times in my youth due to it having the beautiful Darlene Vogel and Charlie Spradling in it. Anyways, Scott is down on his luck as within the first 5 minutes of the film, he both caught his girlfriend cheating on him with his boss, got fired. I can explain everything. Well, why don't you start with the mysteries of the pyramids and do it on your way out the front door? All right, that's it, pal. You're fired. And don't even bother to pick up your last check. And was evicted from his home due to unpaid bills. While drinking himself to sleep on a park bench, an old homeless man, played by Pat Morita, gives Scotty a weird bottle and a blanket. While falling asleep, he rubs the bottle and also wishes for a nice big bed with two naked hotties in it. And what do you know, when he wakes up, that is exactly what he got, although it doesn't seem like he's all that excited about it. He then meets Genie the Genie, who tells him that he is her master, and she is there to make all of his wishes come true. Skyri doesn't have big ambitions in life, so his wishes is not to end world hunger, wars or anything like that. Instead he involves his two goofball friends and they all together make wishes that consist of material things and a never ending stop of parties. Scotty also sees a hot babe that he wants to fall in love with, but that's the one thing Genie the Genie is unable to fulfill. Off the court, dude. Master, I was trying to tell you I couldn't grant that wish. Why? It's in the middle of a game, of butthead. Genies can't control matters of the heart. So basically, with Miracle Beach we got a silly comedy, targeting 15 year olds, as this was pre-internet era, and simple sex comedies like this did provide plenty of naked skin and perverted comedy for young teens. It's basically every teenager's fantasy to be able to do whatever you want, surround yourself with naked hotties and just enjoy life. And yeah, they do go into the morality of money not really giving you happiness in life, but it's just added very cheaply and lazily at the end. And that laziness, when it comes to the writing, is what ultimately hurts the film. We get to see Skyri get all of his wishes granted, but I was never all that happy for him. He did not think during the film to show that he deserved it or truly appreciated it, except in the final minutes when they wrapped the movie up. There is so much more that could have been done with the morality aspect of the story, and having Scotty realize that his true love was by his side all along in Genie the Genie was the most stale way to go. The whole romance angle they add midway through the film between those two did not work, and in a film like this, the central love story has to be emotional for the viewer to care, and in this instant I felt like Genie the Genie deserved way better as Scotty was kind of a shallow idiot. I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't. Mean Scotty, it. it's okay, really. Uh, Scotty, you don't have no, to leave. Uh, the same laziness affects the comedy of the film. It's only sporadically funny, and it's mostly silly, simple joke situations that will humor you for a moment or two. Instead of spending time on the comedy, they make sure to include some big titties every now and then to keep you entertained. It came to no surprise when I found out that director, Scott Snyder, had come up doing videos for Playboy before getting the chance to direct this film. Genie the Genie is played by Amy Dolenz, and she is so lovely and charming in this film, even though they make her go a bit crazy once she falls in love with Scotty. I remember Dolenz from Witchboard 2, Ticks, and Children of the Night, and I think she deserved way more fame and better work than what she got out of her career. With all due respect of course, as she can look back at over 40 acting credits in her career, and it's not like that's bad, I just think she deserved even more. I also want to mention Alexis Arquette, even though he only has a small part as one of Scotty's goofy sidekicks. I recently saw him in Sometimes They Come Back again, review up on my channel by the way, and just like he was in that film, he's also awesome to watch in Miracle Beach. He doesn't get all that much to work with, and his character doesn't have the biggest impact on the movie, but it's fun to watch and makes the most out of every scene he is in. Wait, dude, wait, what am I thinking? Why don't I just have Afterbirth playing live in my room all the time? Afterbirth, Kings of Rock! 
Miracle Beach will suffice if you are after some easy comedy with plenty of naked skin in it, but so will plenty of other comedies from the 80s and 90s too. What I tend to look for in this is also heart, and I couldn't find a lot of that in Miracle Beach. It is saved by having Amy Dolenz and Alexis Arquette, but overall it's a pretty corny and forgettable film. It is a decent time waster though, so as such I am giving Miracle Beach an average score of 2.5 out of 5. Have you seen Miracle Beach, and if so what did you think of it? Any other early 90s comedies like this that you would recommend? As I mentioned earlier, I did love Ski School when I was a teenager, although I'm not sure how I would feel about it if I were to revisit it today. If you want to see a fun, silly comedy, then check out my review of Roland Emmerich's Hollywood Monster. That's a fun one, for sure. Leave a like if you want me to do more reviews of comedies. It's never a bad thing to take a small break from all of the other wily and gruesome stuff that I normally watch. As always, I appreciate you taking your time to watch my videos, and if you're new to my channel, then please check out all of my other stuff as I have plenty of other videos for you to enjoy. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time here on Cinema Terror.